Hello guys and welcome to creating new post by WA courses. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can create a new post using the post editor on WordPress. To create a new post on WordPress, you log into your dashboard and you go to the post section here, okay? So, as you can see we have an add new link here. If you click this and it's going to Take it where you can add a new post or you could click on the add new button over here okay so you can either use this or this you can also create a new post from any part of your website using the wordpress toolbar so just come over here and select post so whichever way you use it's still going to give you the same editor or the same space so we're going to click on add new and it's going to take us to the editor so right now, WordPress has two default um, editors. We have Gutenberg and we have the classic editor. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using Gutenberg, but they both work in similar ways. Just uh, with Gutenberg, you have to create content using blocks, okay? Whereas if you're using something like the classic editor, you just need to type in text and drag and embed um videos so that's like the old way and wordpress is moving towards more of a page builder like uh, structure for everything so uh we have two space here we have this space for the title so i'm just going to type in something random like post title and over here you can just start typing if you want so if you just want to create content like text you could just type in whatever you want over here okay so i'm just i'm going to show you how you can do different things so remember i said uh everything is in block format so i'm just going to delete everything here and show you how to add stuff okay so if you click on this plus sign here it's going to show you add block so you can add different kinds of blocks so if i click on this so you can see we have different blocks we have paragraph block we have image block we have heading we have gallery list and quote okay so if i click on browse all it's going to take me to where i can get any block so the only thing you use you, you get here are just these are just uh, blocks that a lot of people use okay so if i type in video it's going to search and give me all the blocks related to video so we have video we have youtube vimeo or whatever so whatever you're trying to add just type it in here and you're going to see it so i'm just going to add a heading so i'm going to type heading okay so i'll just click on this and it's going to give me this heading space so uh you can change the different things about this heading like alignment so if i click on this i can change uh if i click on this i can change the alignment so if i want my text to align left i can just select this so this is by default center text is going to come to the middle and right is going to get to the right hand side so i'm going to get it back to the default you can also change the kind of header so if you want h1 or h3 or h4 you can select that over here so every single uh, uh block has its own set of settings okay so for anything re related to text you're going to get things like bold italized linking and some extra uh, settings so, so you can do things like superscripts uh subscript strike through and all that okay so i'm just going to type in post title again post title one okay and below this i'm going to add a paragraph so i'm just going to click on plus sign and select the paragraph block okay so now once i do that i can type in a normal paragraph here and i can simply press enter and it's just going to take us to the next line and do note each of these uh, each time you press enter it's like it's creating a new block Okay, so you can add stuff in between two blocks if you want just by hovering at the middle. So if I want to add something here, I just hover around it and click on add block. And I'm just going to add an image here. And I'll go, when you want to add the image, just select the image block and you select media gallery. Okay, so over here you can add any image you want. So we don't currently don't have any image on our website. You can also do things like insert from URL. So 
I'm just trying to like explain how you can use the editor. Uh, it's very, very simple, very straightforward. It just works with blocks. So the only thing you're going to be learning here is how you can use each of these blocks to get exactly what you want. You want a list of items, you use list. Okay. You can change it from um, unordered to ordered, or you can increase, change things like um, you can transform this into something else if you want. So I can transform a list into a paragraph. I can transform it back into a list. I can transform it to a quote. So there are a lot of features here. But basically, what you're going to be doing is creating headers with paragraphs and adding images. So that's uh, just for the basic stuff. Okay, so don't forget if you want to get extra uh, blocks, just click on the plus sign here. You can search or you could scroll down if you want. So there's a lot of options there. So once you're done with your post and you're satisfied, um, you have three options here we have save draft, we have preview, and we have publish. Okay, so if I save this as a draft, it's going to save this post to the back end of my WordPress site. But no one is going to be able to see it because when, when it's in draft format, it means you're the only one that can see it and you're still editing it. Okay. So if you if you post, if your post is not ready for publishing, just click on save draft and you can come back later. So when you click on publish, it's going to take this live on your website. Okay. So if you click on publish, it's going to give you some options. So we have visibility. So if you select public, anyone on the, on the internet, when you come to your website, they're going to be able to see this post. If you select private, it's just it's going to show only to site admins and your editor. So the pub, general public will not be able to access this. Then we also have password protected. So if you have a password protected page, you have to add a password. So if I add a password here, no one is going to be able to access this except use, they're using a password here. Okay. So uh, we also have scheduling. So by default, when you select publish, it's just going to send this, publish this automatically. But you can use uh, this feature here to schedule whatever you want. So I could schedule this to be posted tomorrow. I can, can do things like change the year you want it to be published, um, the time, even the, the time zone itself. So there's a lot of settings here, a lot of granular settings. So I'm just going to take, take this back i'm going to reset so it's going to publish this automatically so once you cl click on publish it's going to give you the link and it's going to send it to your website so i can just view the posts so let's view the post and see how it looks okay so exactly what we did on uh on the back end that's how it's going to be displayed here and it's also responsive so you can copy the link here i'm just going to cancel this so some extra stuff you can do is um, once you've published this you can switch to draft so you can get it offline if you want um, if you change something here you're going to see this update button becomes um, selectable so if i click on update it's going to update this in real time then if you click on this settings tab here it's going to take you to this uh, uh, layout where you can do different things also so you can do extra stuff like changing your visibility so if you if you want to change the visibility later on to something like private just click on settings it's gonna and go over to the post tab okay so you have visibility you have permalinks categories tags featured image exempt and discussion so these are just extra settings and extra stuff um, and in later videos I'm gonna be explaining more about each of these things so we're not really going to be touching on this i'm just this video is just to teach you how you can create a post so you add title add your content and you click on publish or you save it as a draft and come back later if you select preview preview is going to give you like a way of seeing how this is going to look like before you publish it okay so if it's still in draft format and you select something like desktop and open a new tab it's going to generate a preview of the from the draft so as you can see this looks exactly the same if i select tablet it's just going to change the editor to tablets form if i change this to mobile so it's going to show you in real time how this looks like so i can edit this for mobile i can edit this for uh for 
desktop if I want. So that's just essentially what uh, this feature does. There's a lot of extra stuff here. So another feature you'd find useful with Gutenberg is the modes. So if I click on this, since we have two modes, by default we have the edit mode selected. So if I change this to select mode and I click on this heading at the top, at the right hand side you're going to see some extra settings. So we can do things like change some um, add line height and color specifically for uh, block. So I can do extra stuff like advanced, like HTML, um, anchor, add CSS classes. So these are just extra uh, features. If I select this image and I have this on, you can do things like change the image style. So each and every, each block that you add to Gutenberg um, allows you to do extra um, changes. So you can make extra changes. You can. Uh, make some extra changes over at the right hand side so if i use edit um, edit future here it just gives us only this to make changes okay so if you want to make some extra changes some advanced changes that you, you and you're not getting the option here just switch to select mode and come over here you're going to see some extra settings for that specific block okay so i hope you found this video useful um, and you understood everything that I explained here. There are still some extra features uh, about the about creating posts, and I'm going to be explaining those in future videos. We can really cover everything in this one video.